Welcome to our review on making ammonia. So first thing we really need to consider when thinking about any chemical production are some of the factors that are going to affect the cost. So what we've got are five factors here that we need to remember in terms of their ability to affect the cost of the chemical we're producing. So the first one is the cost of our starting materials. Obviously different materials cost different amounts. Now if we're going to be using expensive materials then the end product is going to be expensive. One way we can reduce the costs is by recycling any of the materials that are unreacted and feeding them back into our system. Second factor is the cost of the equipment needed. If we need complex machinery or we need to keep it at high pressures, high temperatures, anything along these lines, then the machinery's got to withstand those conditions. Now that means it's going to cost more to actually build the plant or the factory in the first place. Third one is the labour costs and wages. We need people to work in these factories. We need some highly skilled scientists in some case, which are obviously going to be costly. And we may also just need some lower skilled people, but depending on how many we need determines how much it's going to cost us overall. If we can reduce the number of people we need, we can actually reduce our costs in terms of our labor. And the way we can do that is by using obviously automation, using machines to control systems. Fourth factor is the price of the energy. Gas and electricity are expensive things. If you probably know if your parents have nagged you to turn off the lights and all of this side of things at home, then it's because it costs quite a lot of money. If you imagine trying to run a factory that needs very high temperatures and therefore we're going to have to have the energy to generate those high temperatures, the costs go up. The final factor is the speed at which the new chemical is made. If it's a slow process, then all of these things that we're having to do to make the chemical have to be kept going longer. So in order to actually reduce that cost, we can use catalysts and a catalyst, hopefully you remember, speeds up the rate of a chemical reaction. The chemical we're going to be looking at over the next couple of reviews is ammonia. So ammonia is a gas with a very sharp smell and we tend to use it in cleaning fluids. And the reason behind that is that it reacts with grease, making it very easy to remove for us. We can also use our ammonia to make nitric acid and fertilizers, which obviously allow us to grow higher yields of crops. Now, the reason that we're going to be using these fertilizers is because as our plants take up minerals in the soil, then when we harvest those crops, we're going to be removing the minerals from the soil. So if you grow the same crop in the same field year on year and do nothing, we use up the minerals, which means the plants can't grow as well. So what we do is we add fertilizers to the soil to replace those minerals that we're losing. If we think about how we make ammonia then, we're gonna be using a process called the Haber process. Now in the Haber process, what we have is nitrogen and hydrogen reacting to make ammonia. Now have a look at the word equation in that second box and you can see it's got a different kind of arrow here. So it's kind of got half an arrow going right, half an arrow going left. That's the symbol for a reversible reaction, which means that that reaction can go both ways. Now, in terms of where we get our nitrogen and hydrogen from, hydrogen gas comes from cracking oil fractions or from natural gas, and our nitrogen just comes from the air, because remember, we have 78% of the air that we breathe in as nitrogen. To be able to make ammonia, we need certain conditions. We need a high pressure, we need a temperature of around 450 degrees centigrade, and we need an iron catalyst. One thing that we are going to do to reduce the costs of producing our ammonia is that we're going to recycle any of that unreacted hydrogen and nitrogen. 